I'm there. I'm, I've had it. I'm at my peak. I'm done. I feel like I'm pretty good at exposing bitches. One of those bitches that need to be exposed. Almost had to fight one. I'm done, 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 done. I ain't lose nothing yet that I want back. Uh, you know vibes. It's Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't no no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snap. Yeah. You know the vibes. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad is your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you are subscribed. Join the J Squad, Plum Squad. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video, okay? If you don't know anything about me, it's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. This video, I'm exposing my job. I feel like I'm pretty good at exposing bitches and my job is one of those bitches that need to be exposed x job no longer there i quit 48 hours ago i quit i'm gonna really say 24 hours ago because the first 24 i was unsure i was just really like yeah not going by the time the 48 hour had started or the 25th hour i was like yeah i'm the fuck through i'm not gonna say where i work at i can count on one hand of how many people might know where i worked at one person literally came to my job and I knew another person came to my job and I had absolutely no idea that they were coming to my job matter of fact they didn't even know they were coming to my job until they came to my job and they came and they seen and they saw and they conquered and they loved and they left when I first got this job I got this job like summertime no it was after the summertime or was it in the summertime maybe it was like after the summertime I don't know I got this job sometime last year and I got it through indeed and it came so easily like when I was looking for a job this job literally came and I wasn't really putting in no effort to look for a job so I had got a phone call about an interview and I had got other phone calls for interviews too but I wasn't showing up to these interviews I was like yeah mm, not doing it some interviews I went to and I was like mm, yeah not feeling it so I actually you know went to this interview and it was so low-key unprofessional I was nervous as f just because that's the type of person that I am as soon as I started talking about me being um, an entertainer and me doing YouTube, the interview went left and then right. Like it went left like off track, but then it went right because it was like I felt comfortable. So my manager at the time was like so in awe that I was a YouTuber and that I had so many subscribers and you know was talking about me being an ambassador for the job and blah 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 and everything has sounded great at that time my job had only opened up in the afternoon so it opened at like three o'clock in the afternoon it closed at like 10 on the weekdays 11 on the weekend perfect job right what i thought and then the holidays start coming around and it was like oh we're open all the time now whoa wait a minute sir don't schedule me in the morning don't even schedule me for a fucking double no so then you know what i'm saying that happened but you know i'm still rocking with the job because they only schedule me for the afternoon perfect what i thought right no then we start losing people you know people start quitting people just start not coming to work so me being a top performer and um, when I work, I don't half ass do anything. So you know, I'm busting my ass. Now they see me as a strong person. Now they love me. And now they got me closing. And at first I'm like, no, I, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't. I don't want to close. I, later on in the job, I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't mind closing. Maybe that'll keep me out of trouble. You know, maybe it'll keep me out of trouble. Keep me out of trouble. Keep me out of trouble. Keep me from spending money at nighttime. Keep me out the bar, for real, for real. That was my trouble, me getting drunk at night and turning up. So recently, we got managers coming in and out. Some managers I'm feeling, some managers I'm not. What really put the cherry on top, you guys, was rats, rodents, roaches. And granted, every place like this place probably do have rats and bugs and roaches, but it's a difference when you don't see them and you hear about them versus when you see it and you heard about it and you almost had to fight one in front of a customer. And it's like, shit, true colors are being shown. So. 
make a long story short, you guys, yeah, my my job has rats. My job had my used to be job has. Cause I don't want to say had like it don't have it. They have it. Alright? They definitely have it. Now, it's been a few times where um it's been like a few comments, and I'm not a sensitive person at all. But that don't mean you don't watch what you say. And granted, I can take a joke. But you gotta know who you joking with. Like, if we not really cool, if we only cool because of work, do not think you can just joke around me because I'm only being nice to you because I'm at work. That's it. Now, especially if you got these jokes and you're making these jokes at work, then you know for damn sure that you ain't supposed to be saying them jokes to me because we only cool at work. Now, if you say these jokes outside of work when we're not at work, you know, and we're actually cool, you know, I might just see a little bop be like, <laughs> that was funny. Not funny. Um, but basically, like, it's just been a few comments and a few things going on that I'm just like, yo, I don't know why you think that's okay to joke around like that, but it's not. So, for example, you know what I'm saying? I had needed this drink, and it's a cab, Dark Horse Cabernet. It's actually a really good wine. And the bartender was like, ah, you're my little black horse. No, no, I'm not. Sis, I'm not. I'm not a black horse or your black horse. Because I'm thinking about bitch, you wanna get on my back. And not going down. Another comment that someone made, not even to me, they made it to someone else, and that person don't know how to just keep their mouth shut. So that person was like, mm, me and this person, you know what I'm saying, we were chilling, and they had said that if they were to hear you and not see you, they would think that you're Cardi B. I'm not though. I'm not Cardi B. Then, same person that know how to keep their mouth shut always kept referencing me to somebody. Somebody that I'm sure if I would have known who that was, I'd have been like, no, that's not me. But still, because I didn't know who that was, I still was like, no, that's not me. I don't like awkward conversations. I don't like corny ass jokes that's not funny but you think is so funny i don't like stuff like that basically i have been hearing about the rodents a customer seen the rodent and then i seen the rodent and it turned my stomach y'all because whenever like they want you to do something for the company or for the manager you know for his shift so he isn't lack of anything or anybody they want to oh let me buy you some food let me get you this let me get you that and why you think I want to eat food that the rodents are around? Do you not know this is not a 24-hour place? So when the lights get cut off, when the doors get locked, these rodents are having a fiesta and cheese. Fiesta and cheese, y'all. We are known for cheese and bread. Cheese and bread, okay? So I can only imagine what these rodents are doing when we're not there. So, I, you know, I literally, as soon as I get in the parking lot, I'm depressed, you know. I be having a great day, and as soon as I gotta go to work, I'm sad. And I be having a great, freaking, productive day. And then I get to work, and it's like, damn, I'm wasting my time. I could be doing something else. This, this, this is not it. F*** it. F*** being humble about it. F*** trying to make it work. F*** trying to just stick to it something to change i'm the fuck over it and i've had so many um of my people tell me like you you don't you don't belong here you you shouldn't be here you need to go back to school you need to come work for me you need to take my car you are you happy and and I never try to let those comments like really like get into my mind or get into my head or maybe think any differently about my job. But when I tell you, like, it's something that always like set on me because I know, like, I know I didn't deserve to be there. I knew I was worth more than working for them and working there. And I can't do it. I can no longer. I could no longer do it. I'm the fuck through. I'm the. F I'm over it. And. I'm, I'm in this I'm in this space I'm in this mood where I'm like a lot of things a lot of things a lot of stuff because it's a lot of hating ass hoes out here and um a lot of people don't know how to keep that same energy because um 
you just don't bottom line is like in anything that you do and everything that you put yourself into or anything that you're dealing with in life like don't settle too much as human beings we have to i mean even when we don't want to we got to it's just how it is sometimes but a lot of things i'm not i'm not going to i'm it ain't and to make matters worse like A photo shoot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, photo shoot. Yeah. Somebody just hit me up for a photo shoot. Let's get it. Let's work. You see how God come through? I'm there. I'm. I've had it. I'm at my peak. I'm done. I don't know if you heard Young Lyric new song. Done. I'm done. 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 Not going back. Release all the shifts. You can have it. They called me. Left a voicemail. I'm not answering. Call me the next day. I didn't answer. Do you not get it? Go check the schedule. All of my shifts are released. Put two and two together. I try to give you a two week notice. You ain't want to take it. And that's crazy. I never met a place where you go put in your two weeks notice in and they just, they just don't accept it. They try to act like they doing you a favor for you to do them a favor by staying. But you never did me a favor. I simply asked y'all to just work three days. Maybe four. But I did say like you know what I'm saying like if I can't I can't. if I you know. And it, it be so many people's schedule. It's like you really don't need me. They couldn't even give me my three days consistently like I asked. Like, you can't even do what I'm trying to ask. You can't even do what I'm asking of you. So why do you think I'm about to do what you asking me? I'm not. I'm not. I didn't. I'm no longer. I'm free. Am I looking for a job? No. Do I want to work for myself? For my damn self? For myself and some other black owned business. I don't know if you know but make sure you check out the links down below. Go get your J Vibes merch. J Vibes merch.com is a website for the rest of the month. I do have eight dollars off of your entire purchase using the code Kobe24. Also, if you spend over fifty dollars, you can get free shipping with me. So support your black owned businesses, you guys. And I'm not trying to be anti them, but it's I am so proactively supporting me and, and us. I don't know. But it's so much that I want to do and I couldn't necessarily do it because I was like making them my priority without making them my priority Like they wasn't my priority, but damn when the clock goes when it gets to a certain time It's like, okay, stop drop and roll. You gotta go You gotta go and then my mind is not there when I go back to being in my creative space Like I have so many places that I need to be traveling to I have collaborations that I need to be getting done and I cannot do that could not do that with them and you may say like Jay you just don't know how to manage that's a lie that's a lie Craig that is definitely a lie I'm I'm disgusted my spirit is bothered my peace is a little shook at it you know what I'm saying am I happy I am more than happy I ain't lose nothing yet that I want back okay so I just gotta recollect, regather, regroup. You need to slow it down. I just had to recollect, regather, and regroup, y'all. And this is where I'm at. This is where it is. This is what it is. And I couldn't be even more happier, you know? This camera about to die. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Some real ass shit. Cause you know, ain't nobody else gonna give it to you as real as I do. There's always a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Do not ever, ever, ever get it twisted. I love you guys. Nobody said that they love you today. I'm telling you first. I love you. Have a great day. A blessed day. I'm signing out to the next video. Peace. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know what the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. Yeah. You know the vibes.